Hi, my name is Martin. Welcome to this video. Today we're going to be discussing binary addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks. Hi there. All right, let's go ahead and get started with an addition problem in binary. Let's see. Let's take 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. And let's add this to 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. <clears throat> Luckily, performing addition in binary is very easy. Actually, all mathematical problems in binary are very simple because binary in itself is very simple. So, considering we have these right here are actually our only combinations that we will encounter when adding a binary two-column binary number together. Um, for example, a 0 plus a 0 is always a 0. A 1 plus a 0 equals a 1. A 0 plus a 1 equals a 1. A 1 plus a 1 equals 2, which is a 1, 0. And a 1 plus a 1 plus a 1 equals 3, which is 1, 1 in binary. Now, to begin adding this problem together, 1 plus 1, you see right here, is 2. So we would leave the 0, we would carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. Leave the 0, carry the 1. 1 plus nothing is 1. 1 plus 1 is 1, 0, 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 1, 0, 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, which is a 1, 1. You will leave the 1 and carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is a 1, 0. And there it is. There is the sum of your number. And that is all it takes to add a two column binary number together. Very simple, very quick. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next chapter. Hi there, welcome back. In this chapter, we're going to be discussing binary subtraction. Let's begin with the subtraction problem of 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, minus 1, 1, 1. Uh, just so you know, performing subtraction like this is fine for paper. When you encounter subtraction on computers, you will most likely be dealing with 2's complement. That I am not covering in this video. I have another video that already covers it. You can find that by looking up 2's complement, 1's complement, and sign magnitude. Now, let's proceed. Um, 1 minus 0 you cannot take 1 from 0, therefore, as we do in decimal, we have to borrow. Um, instead of borrowing a 10, we will be borrowing 2. And we cannot borrow from this 0, so we must continue to the next digit or bit. This bit we can borrow from. So we will take this 1, turn it into a 0. We will bring down a small 1 right next to this, so making this a 1, 0, which is 2. We cannot. Um, we need to borrow from it though, so we will bring this up and make this a 1, and we will place a little 1 here, 1, 0, making this a 2. 1 from 2 is 1. 1 from 1 is 0. 1 from 0, borrow. Make a little 1. 2 from 1 is 1. 0 from nothing, 0, and finally, 0 from 1 is 1, and that completes binary subtraction. That's all there is to it. In binary, it's very simple. So, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next chapter. Hi, welcome to this chapter. In this chapter, we are going to be discussing binary multiplication. Let's begin with a binary multiplication problem of 1, 1, 0, 1, multiply that by 5, 1, 0, 1. <clears throat> now, as in um, decimal multiplication, we will multiply each one of these digits 
by the first digit down here, the second digit, and the third digit. Um, however, this is going to be a lot simpler than decimal. Binary is always simpler. Um, when we multiply by a 1, the number that comes down will be exactly the same as the top number. And when we multiply by 0, it will be absolutely nothing and the same here. Let's go through it. 1 times 1 is 1. 0 times 1 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. As you can see, 1101 and 1101. Now, let's multiply this by 0. Normally, I wouldn't have to write this down, but I will for you. There you are. And 1101 times 1 is going to be 1, 0, 1, and 1. Now we come down and we add this together. 1 plus nothing, 1, 0, 1 plus 1 is a 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is a 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1, 0, carry the 1, and a 0, 1. And that is all you have to do to multiply in binary. However, there is one more trick that you should know. Um, <clears throat> let's take 1101. One, one. one nice thing about binary is when we are multiplying by 2 or doubling our figures, it's very, very simple. All we have to do is shift all of these digits, or every bit, one space to the left. Each time you shift one space to the left, we're multiplying that number by 2. So if I wanted to multiply, see 1, 2, 4, 8, 8, um, 12, 13. So 13, if I want to multiply that by 2, I will add a 0. Now, 1, 2, 4, 8, uh, 16, 16, 6 is now 26. 13 times 2 is 26. And there you have it. I'll see you in the next chapter. Hi, welcome to the final chapter in this video. Uh, this time we will be discussing uh, binary division. So let's go ahead with uh, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. Let's divide that by 5. 1, 0, 1. Okay. 5 will not go into 1. So we come over. 5 will not go into 1, 1, which is 3. So we come over again. 5 will go into 6, 1, 1, 0. It will go into it one time. Then we come over here. We bring 1, 0, 1 down. We subtract. 1 from 0, can't borrow, 0, carry is a 2, 1 from 2 is 1, 0 from 0, 0, and 0. Now we bring down the next 1, we have 3, 5 will not go into 3, so it goes in 0 times. We bring down the next 0, 5 will go into 6, 1 time, 1, 0, 1, minus, 1 minus 0, take that, 0, borrow, make this a 2, 1 from 2 is 1, 0, and 0. 5 cannot go into 1, so we now have a remainder of 1. And that is how you divide in binary. Now there's one more trick, just like in multiplication, when divided by 2. Let's take 13, 1, 1, 0, 1. Now, how to divide by 2 is as easy as shifting all the bits, one space, one digit to the right. So, if we were to shift all these digits to the right, we would remove this 1, and we would make this a remainder 1. We had 13, now we have 6 with a remainder of 1. Now let's go ahead and let's divide 6 by shifting it to the right. 6 divided by uh, 6 shifted to the right divided by 2 is now 3. S uh, 3 divided by 2, remove the 1, put a remainder 1, is now 1 with remainder 1. So basically, whenever your number, let's see here, 1, 1, 0, 1, as you're shifting, 
to the right, you're removing a bit. So every time you remove a bit, that bit becomes the remainder. If it's a 1, it's a remainder 1. If it's a 0, there is no remainder. If it is a 1, then there is a remainder 1. And that concludes this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please like it. And if you really liked it, please subscribe. And uh, until next time, my name is Martin, and I'll see you then. Bye.